In this video, we will look into the double buffered registers in AVR timers. We'll look at why they are used and when to use them. When using a timer to output a PWM signal, normally the frequency or duty cycle can be changed by writing a new value to the period register or the PWM channel's compare register. Sometimes when these registers are written, a compare match or overflow wrap will be missed by the output. This undesirable behaviour results from the timer's current count cycle having already passed the new period or compare value being written. This can be a further problem when there are two outputs being generated from the same timer, and only one of the outputs misses a compare match. This is because the registers aren't updated at exactly the same time. These errors will be reflected in an output by the period of the PWM being much longer than expected when the period register is changed. Alternatively, when changing the compare value, the duty cycle might become either 0 or 100% depending on the PWM operation mode. If, for example, the PWM output is being used to drive some kind of power circuit, either one of these glitches poses significant risk if it causes a short circuit. When the double buffered registers are used, the hardware is able to update the period and compare registers at a safe point in the timer's count cycle. This is usually the top or the bottom value, meaning that the ongoing period will finish before the new values are loaded and used. In the linked example, the timer is set up to be used both with and without double buffering. Which operation is used depends on a hash to find. The timer is slowed down so the glitches can be easily seen on the output pin, for example when connected to an LED.